investigation. Well, whether Sarah Palin will make a run for the White House is perhaps just as much a secret as her bus trip to historic sites across the country. Today, the One Nation tour made a stop here in Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Simino caught up with Governor Palin. They spoke one on one. He's live now on Independence Mall. Ben. And Chris, not even the National Park Service here had much advance notice. They did get a call about 1130 this morning, about an hour before that bus pulled up from one of Sarah Palin's staff members saying that she was indeed on her way here. They whisked her in through a back gate at Independence Hall. She did not have to get one of those timed tickets, and that's where we caught up with her. When the Liberty Bell is on the side of your bus, you have to stop and see the Liberty Bell. So anxious to see these buildings again to bring good attention to uh, these symbols of our freedom. Potential Republican presidential candidate Sarah Palin toured Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell Center, spending about 45 minutes in historic Philadelphia as part of her tour up the East Coast, which is not, by the way, a campaign swing. She won't say if she's running for president. Thank when might you. you decide, Governor, if you do run? Um, you know, we think that it is still many weeks away before the field has to be set. There's going to be a lot of shuffling around. But Eyewitness News caught up with Palin exclusively before her tour, and we asked her if she believes she can beat President Obama next year. I think people are very, very anxious for uh, the economy to be put back on the right track and strong national security measures. To put it concisely, yes. Please run for president. Police rush to close streets with no advance notice as crowds of tourists and students gather to see Palin, who seems to be as polarizing as ever. It's such an honor to, nice meet, to you. meet you. Are you from here? I'm from Philadelphia. Just pure excitement, could barely even hold it in. We found ourselves clustered there watching because it was like watching a train wreck. And then she was off. Like this stop, no one knew where she was heading next. It's not really an intention to play cat and mouse or, or to have you guys guessing or anything else. Really, it, it's a, a genuine um, concern for our country. Now, as for her time in Philadelphia, she posted this on her blog, quote, Philadelphia is beautiful and awe-inspiring. Philly's reporters, the police, and park rangers were wonderful. Thank you, PA, and always the politicians. She added this, those first-place Phillies aren't bad either. Now, several media outlets are reporting that she is having dinner in New York tonight with Donald Trump. At Independence Hall, I'm Ben Simino, CBS3 Eyewitness News.